Hello everyone, Pallytum here. Welcome back to Fallout. Um, I'm gonna break character for a minute and let you all know everything that I've been going through because it's been a gigantic pain in the ass. So, I did reformat both of my computers a little while ago. When I did that, I also purchased a new capture card. I was using an Elgato capture card before, but upgraded to the HD60 Pro for the charity livestream that we did. Uh, and it was working great. It worked fine. Uh, but when I was recording videos after the stream, I was running into some audio desync trouble. And I've been showing you guys a little bit of that at the end of these recent videos uh, just to keep you all tied in. Well, I think I fixed that issue, at least for the most part. And now I can finally just sit here and play. But I've spent... Uh, la last night from about 1.30 in the morning to 5.30 in the morning, I was editing episodes 2, 3, and 4. And then uh, for the majority of today, I was looking for solutions to my problem, trying out different methods, uninstalling drivers, cleaning out my registry, doing all fun kinds of things to make this series possible. Uh, why am I telling you this? Just because I, I hope you all appreciate it. A lot of work goes into these videos. And uh, it's not always the most apparent thing when you're doing a Let's Play. That's all. Anyway, back in character. So, welcome to Fallout, everyone. I've been roaming around this area. Again, kind of testing my capture card. Slightly out of character again. And uh, I've been just looting everything here. Trying to salvage anything I can to bring back to Sanctuary. I've looked all around Lexington. And I've also uh, ventured up towards, oh, what was it? Uh, the Museum of Freedom. I went around all in that area and just looted everything I could. Now, this area around Lexington was full of raiders. We were also encountering uh, some bandits as well. We have our main quest from the Minutemen to go into this facility over here and take out some bandits. Um... I don't know how well you could see that body right there, but I've been taking some pot shots at these guys from complete safety. They have no idea where these shots are coming from. I've just been sticking to the high ground of this overpass and then taking shots into this facility when I have a clear shot. And I have taken down probably five or six. Hold on. There's another one. Make that seven raiders inside this facility uh, without them having any idea that I'm here. Uh, we're pretty far off, so I mean, figuring out where a bullet came from from this distance might be difficult to do. Or they might all just be really dumb raiders. But I've been trying to play safe and just pick these guys off one at a time. We are, of course, using our pipe sniper rifle in order to do this. But one thing I noticed is well first of all let's see if there's an easy way to get down from here uh, i feel like i'm kind of committed at this point hello sir rocco the second uh, there's some gunshots off in this direction now i don't know what's over here whoa it's a big city okay so this is what i was coming over here for uh, i was going to investigate these guys apparently they're fighting each other that looks like a raider if i've ever seen one so they these may be some upstanding individuals uh, let's see if I can get a shot on this guy. Help out a little bit. Uh, nope. Nope, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do much of anything from up here. And I'm kind of afraid that I'm going to be shooting at the wrong people at this point. So you know what? I'm going to let them have their little fight. I'm going to try to find a way down and see if I can help out. Remember, our main objective, still getting into that facility and dealing with those raiders, which again, I have been doing a fair amount of uh, um, uh, we'll see no. is it legitly just gonna say ug on my screen for a while <laughs> hello someone in there I can't that doesn't look like a bandit at all that doesn't look a ra look like a raider at all and this guy does but does, doesn't this feel like really hate crimey? This feels hate crimey, right? You look a certain way, so you must be bad. Whoa. Whoa. That was a significant explosion. So. I can use vats. Looks like these guys are just scavengers. 
It doesn't look like they have any affinity to me. There's another one down there. Can I get a can I get a vats on him? Yeah, they're just they're they're just scavengers. Uh, we don't know they're bad people, but maybe they're mad at me because I shot one of their friends. I shouldn't have been shooting in there like that. Not when I not when I didn't know what was going on. These guys are the other hand. I mean, we know they're all raiders, right? And if they're in there, they're at least associated with raiders. None of the people that I've taken shots at in here look like they've been taken captive. They don't, they don't look like they're uh, trying to get away. Nothing like that. They're just in here hanging out. And I've been taking really, really, really easy kills against them. I mean, they're pretty humane kills if you think about it. Bullet right through the head. They're not going to feel that. They don't experience any fear because they're too dumb to notice all their friends are dead. And they don't feel any pain because it's an instantaneous death. So really, I'm doing them a favor. If I went in there and I was guns a-blazing, they'd, they'd be losing their minds. They'd be running around in terror. They'd be angry. Adrenaline would be going all through their body. I mean, they, and then they would have to fear the incoming doom. And, and really, we're just putting them right out of that misery. I don't, I don't feel bad about it. The scavengers, on the other hand, I kind of feel a little bad about. Uh, I feel like I uh, probably shot one of their friends, and that's why they're mad at me. But you know what? Mistakes are made. That is a thing. That, that happens. Oh, got another one here. Got another one here. This is actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. This is This is fun. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to clarify on something I said I said at the start of the video, you know, getting in character or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not playing a role here. I'm just kind of kind of having fun in the game. Uh, oh, there's another one. But I do like to make these an immersive experience. I like to stay on topic. I like to play very goal oriented in these let's play videos. Um, and you know, I've been kind of breaking that a lot this video. But you know what? That happens. That happens to the best of us. I've killed so many raiders in this place, and I haven't even stepped a foot inside. So I'm actually interested to see what kind of a resistance we will get uh, when we go in. So there were three guys out front. I took one down uh, from over here prior to the recording starting. And um, uh, the two up top we killed when we were over by that guy with the fat man. Uh, dog found an enemy. Where? Where? You sure? I don't see anything, Sir Rocco the Second. Just gonna strip this turret for everything it has. I think one of the disadvantages of this strategy is I'm not seeing too many bodies around. Uh, so potentially missing out on some loot. Is it that way? All right. Well. Huh? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to turn my light off. Hello. Did I mention I have a shotgun? And it's called Face Hole. Maybe you should be... Maybe you should uh, pay attention. Maybe you should watch who's coming around that corner. You know what I'm saying? Just general advice for you raider folk here. Alright, we're moving in. I hear someone talking. Oh, it sounds like one of the raiders is trying to leave. Only worry is my lurks. I can deal with that. Stupid idea, man. Stupid idea. What? Oh, and they I heard me. Him. You found me. Where are you? Get off! Wait a minute! You were shooting at me while you were still in the building, in the van. It's some garbage, man. Uh oh, this raider's running right at me. Sir Rocco the Second going in, taking some damage. There we go. Good job, buddy. Good job. We work really well together. We're a really good team. We look out for each other. All right. What do you guys have going on in here? Some Nuka Colas. Don't mind if I do. And some squirrel bits. We're gonna eat good tonight. We're gonna eat good tonight. Eat well. Grammar and whatnot. Hmm. So I'm assuming I have to go inside here somewhere. I mean, my or is is my objective just to kill raiders? Looks like there's a door uh, about 
15 feet this way. Yeah, up there it looks like. We can go in there and check it out. We're going to take a look around a little bit more, though, before we move in. I feel like there could be just a ton of supplies here. Plus, with all these dead bodies, I mean, that's just free loot sitting around. Man, I wonder what kind of good stuff we can find, like, up top. This place does just kind of go on forever. Uh-oh. I don't even know where this is coming from. So Rocco the second knows. Let's see how good the accuracy on this is. I know you didn't just kick my dog. Unfortunately, uh, it appears the shotgun shells are not the most common ammunition in the world. And face holes running out of ammo pretty fast. Uh, magnifying glass, okay. Tons and tons and tons of chems in here. And there's a terminal we could take a look at. Don't know what we're going to find on it. Um, spotlight control. Um, uh, no intruders detected ever. Well, they're doing a great job. I'm definitely not here. Let's just deactivate the lights then. I mean... It would suck to kind of walk into them later and, and trigger an alarm. I didn't even know that there were spotlights though, so clearly they're not doing that great of a job. It looks like on top of this other silo, there's some supplies over there. And maybe a, maybe a trap door to get back into that building? I don't think so. So I'm just gonna check out the top of these towers. I mean, I don't know how much useful stuff is gonna be up here, but it definitely seems like there's some incentive to explore. Um, you know, that's one thing I could definitely say about this game. I have felt the need to go around and discover things. And usually I'm the kind of player who just doesn't give a shit about that at all. Like, I'm going in and I'm gathering up every little single thing I can to bring back to Sanctuary. Because I feel like that place is mine. I feel like I have a really big stake in that place. And I, and I want to keep those people safe. Even though I don't know them at all, and they, they're probably a bunch of stupid idiots following a drug addict. You know, we don't know. We don't know. Oh! A repair bobblehead. Bingo. Awesome. Awesome. I genuinely did not know that was up here. I don't remember the last time I found a bobblehead, like, by myself. Just looking for what? We do have to drop some weight. Oh, my nose. I'm so nasally right now. Uh, easiest thing to drop is usually... Um, is usually some of this armor stuff. We'll see. Alright, we made a mess. And now I have a neck brace on. <laughs> what? What is this? This is nothing. This is going to hurt me if I fall down. What a terrible idea. Just a terrible, terrible idea. And here we go. Some mines and a few chems to help the pain go away. Probably not worth the trip up here, I'm not going to lie. But uh, you know what? Some supplies are better than no supplies. Oh, did I look up here yet? I don't think I looked up here. Um, no, this is new. Nothing too special, though. Look at me! Look at me, guys! I'm looting in a video game! I don't know how long this is going to last. This is uncharted territory. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. This is weird. I'm going to go inside now. I'm going to do the quest objective. All right, we are inside. Our objective is 38 meters away, and I've already alerted these guys that I'm here. Uh, we don't have a lot of shots with the, the face hole, so uh, anything I could do with the 10 millimeter with Don or with this Nothing with the sniper rifle is going to be good. He forgot I was here. Here we go. First guy down. Easy headshot. They don't exactly seem to know where I am. They know I'm here. They know I'm shooting, but they don't know where from yet. 
So I'm going to try to keep that advantage going. I don't see much movement. I just saw a light sway over there, maybe. Maybe it was a flashlight. I can't quite tell. Uh, I thought I turned spotlights off. And they went back to nothing. Are you kidding me? There's two people dead. You heard gunshots. Okay. Well, they're around here somewhere. He might be on the bottom floor. Still no visual. Who? Oh, you're going to hear that pan, that, that bucket fall over? Of course. No, of course you would. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. What the fuck was that? Who's there? No one. No one's there. No one. Mind your own business. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Sirocco the Second's on the trail. Seriously, where are these people? Hey, who's there? Where are, are you? They're just voices. They're not even real. Okay, he might be real. I think it's. Okay, they're real. Okay, I take it back. They are all real. I'm gonna use my critical hit. Because he has a shotgun, I don't wanna deal with that. So that was one of the perks I picked up. I also picked up a different one. That looked like an automatic shotgun. I believe it was. Looks like these guys are still coming after me. Uh, yes, a double short barrel shotgun. No, that was a different one. I already picked it up, my bad. Um, oh, some gears? Oh, yes, we could use these for the shelter back at home. But they're super heavy, apparently. Uh, I don't know if two things are, are used for anything, so I may just drop those really quick. Uh, but those gears are definitely Come worth picking out. up. Are there any more? Well, there's nice a lot of gears over here. You can trust me. Beautiful. Okay, apparently these gears aren't worth anything. And they, they were 10 pounds on me, and that's a lot of weight. So we're just going to drop those, and we're going to get rid of these tube things. And we should be good on weight again. I am so tempted... To go down the, the the strength tree just so I can carry more stuff. I've never had that issue before. I've never wanted to carry more stuff. Okay, well, we know there's more people around and they're making noise somewhere. Just don't know where yet. Uh, what am I actually trying to do in here? This is really bad. Are you hearing shit? Or are you hearing me? <laughs> I know there's more of you. Where are they? Oh, is that a turret? That's a turret. Okay. Gotta kill it quick. Beautiful. Is the other person still alive? Here we go. Let's go for the Hail Mary headshots. There's one. There's two. Beautiful. Nicely done. There's a toolbox that's locked over here. What's inside? Sweet. All right, I'll take it. Some adhesives. I'm running super low on adhesives back at Sanctuary. All right. Dude, right when I needed more shotgun shots, more shotgun shells, these guys are coming out of the woodwork with shotguns. It's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and use a stim pack. Here we go, that'll heal us up pretty nice. Some corn, another stim pack. Um, Alright, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I feel I feel pretty uh, exposed here. The moment when you change your camera instead of shooting. Hello, Sir Rocco the second. Whoa! I know you just did not point a shotgun at my dog and expect to get away with it. The fuck is wrong with you? I have to say it is really weird that you can't just repair all of your stuff. You know, when you have multiple shotguns, it's like, oh, well, I'll just repair these. You can't really do that anymore. Which seems strange. Seems very strange. Shotguns are heavy. There's not much of an incentive, I mean, other than selling them, there's not much of an incentive to go around with a lot of weapons now. You don't need to repair your guns. Uh, you can't, I mean, you could get, like, extra steel from decomposing them, but it's not a ton of extra steel. 
It's just not noise. super worth. Just noise. What the fuck was that? You know, one thing I really do like, though, I guess I'm just talking about the game and my experience so far right now. One thing I really do like is the fact that radiation actually matters this time around. If you look at my health bar, you can see, as my phone falls on the ground, you can see I have some radiation po Ooh, ghouls. There's ghouls down here. Let's take this turret down. You can see that I have a bit of red on my health bar. That is my radiation, and that is stopping my health from going to full uh, because I do have that radiation poisoning. Now, we can get rid of that pretty easily. You can get rid of that very easily. But the fact that radiation actually is meaningful now, I think, is a really, really good change. Because before, it was essentially just a meaningless stat that was there. And if you got too much of it, you died. But it was so hard to get too much radiation that it was it was pretty much meaningless. Here we go. We got it. Nice. Oh, 10 millimeter rounds. Beautiful. We're not low on these or anything, but we are starting to... Uh, have a need to find more. Apparently I could take the telephone or use the terminal. Uh, Lexington. Lexington is ours. Fuck yeah. Wiped out the ghoul swarm without losing anybody. Jared is setting us up in the big car factory for now. So this is car factory. Okay. Uh, so this is from the Raiders, so it would seem. An apartment. Swept through town again today. Gristle and I took teams and flushed some of the ghoul stragglers out of the block of apartments. Already got my eye on a nice one on the top of a building. Been wanting a place with a view for a while now. Need another turret. I've asked Jared for another turret down here. He says he's working on it and ain't convinced he ain't just blowing me off so he can get back to playing with his cams. We need another turret. The pipe access into Lexington has been great for us so far, but if we don't defend it properly, it might as well be an open invitation for anyone looking to get in. A uh, drinking party. Gristle and the boys almost got us killed the other day drinking down here, making all sorts of noises. A bunch of ghouls didn't want to miss the party and stumbled in through the pipe. Luckily, the boys can hold their liquor and were able to still shoot. Straight? Did it say straight? Still haven't gotten the other turret down here. Jared needs to get his head out of his ass. He's been pouring way too much time and caps into trying to figure out this site thing. When what we need to do is, and then what we need to be doing is securing this place. I'm going to talk to him. Crystal says I'm, I'm just going to make him mad, but someone has to make him see reason. So, trying to figure out this site thing, huh? I wonder if, uh... Well, these are obviously the, the, the ghouls in question, trying to make their way into the facility through this pipe. So, one could assume if we follow this pipe, we're going to find more ghouls, because that seems to be what they keep talking about. And this was kind of like a secret entrance into that place. Uh, they do have a turret down there, though, so it seems like whatever they were talking about was resolved. Maybe they thought they needed one more. Um, there were turrets out front and everything, so, I mean, who knows, but... Uh I certainly did not see this entrance. I'm going to go back in and start clearing through the other part. There were a lot of ghouls in town still, so I don't know how relevant the, or how recent these records have been, but there were definitely a lot of ghouls in town when I was walking around testing the capture card. This place does appear to be more or less... Fuck, I missed. Cleared out. Oh, that's Jared! Hi, Jared! <laughs> he seemed to be one of the head honchos. There's a turret somewhere shooting at me. I can't remember who he said actually had the scope that we were reading about. This just appears to be a normal raider here. A lot of guys up here. And a fire. Okay, there's a fire. Don't know why there's a fire. Apparently that was a trap. I didn't quite walk into it. Uh, lucky for us. Uh, looks like we alerted some guys on the floor down below oh, us. I'll find you. Oh, where's this turret? Oh, I see it. I don't know how I missed it for that long. 
Come on, one more shot, one more shot. Here we go. Getting good use out of this sniper rifle. Are they moving up behind us? I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go in on this guy. We have a ton of shotgun shells. So let's not be shy about it. There we go. Looks like there's another turret up there. So maybe this is the place they were talking about. Saying they wanted to. Yeah, I do think I can win this actually. Hello. <laughs> you your little fucking pea shooter. Who do you think you are? You're going up against motherfucking Palatine with a face hole. Loot on you better be worth it. Yeah, I think these guys are downstairs. Just talking nonsense. Uh, looks like that's where our quest wants us to go. I want to go over here and look, check out Jared, man. You don't see too many named bandits. Let's just get rid of that spotlight, man. Don't have time for that shit. Uh, through. Oh, we gotta get a good running start. Here we go. Three, two. Okay, I was gonna count and then just ran because it seemed better. So I was having fun. The Corvga safe key. Okay. All right. Where's the safe? Must have scared him off. I think that is a better right leg piece of gear than the one I had. This is Jared's terminal. We could take a look at this in just a second. This one's significantly bigger, right? Or am I making that up? Um, turret control. Deactivate. Probably a little late. Um, spotlight control. Deactivate. And then there was a message that definitely took my fancy. She's here. Grizzly says there's a caravan ahead this way. Some joker in a cowboy hat with a laser musket. Three civilians and one frail old woman dressed like a fortune tailor. It's her. I know it's her. I sent Grizzle to collect her. I wonder if she'll recognize me. Of course she will. She saw this coming after all. Interesting. Okay. Experiments continue. Still no success, but the rumor of free chems has brought plenty of new recruits. Ranks are nearly back up to where they were before we cleaned out Lexington. Lonnie thinks it's a waste of time, says we need to spend our time building up our defenses. But Lonnie doesn't make the decisions. I do. She does seem to be enjoying her new position, though. Maybe another dose of Psycho will get her visions firing. Subjects. It's not the Kims. They're just a trigger for the site. It's me. I'm the problem. Wish I realized it before my arms look like pincushions. But at least I now have a lead. But at least it's a, a new lead, rather. I'm just a trigger for the site. So I thought they were talking about... I thought they were talking about a weapon site. Nothing is working. The old woman, she used to just huff some jet, pop some pills, and then she started babbling, sprouting visions after vision. And they all turn out true. The raiders burning down the town, killing the parents, stealing the kids, stealing me. I remember the look in her eyes when she saw my fate. Kid, you're gonna be a monster. It's all true. If I could get that sort of power, that sight, the commonwealth, the other gangs, no one would have a prayer. But nothing's working. Maybe I need to try upping the dosage. I'm going to need another bucket. So he's trying to get the power of the chick. What the? Oh, shit. Hello. Hello. Are you pinning me down? Is that what you're doing? Because <laughs> it doesn't look like that's what you're doing. Doesn't look like that's what you're doing at all. Oh my goodness. I'm fucking seeing things. Interesting. Give up now. I'll make this place is game. definitely yeah. interesting. Alright, I think I'm gonna have words with our little fortune teller. <laughs>